It started with Patriot and Tea Party, benign words the IRS used to filter and single out conservative social welfare groups. What the IRS is doing in targeting Tea Party groups is really threatening the free and open political debate. And free and open political debate is something that we value so much in this country that we created the First Amendment specifically to protect this. The volume of questions posed by the IRS was daunting. And in the words of the Treasury Inspector General for the Tax Administration, the nature of it was inappropriate. But to grill a group of people because they don't agree with them politically is just wrong, and, and that's, that's against everything that's American. Among the multitude of questions posed to one or more conservative social welfare groups, name all donors, describe the nature of prayers at prayer meetings, submit minutes of all board meetings, provide summaries of all written material handed out, and even the names of board members or officers that intend to run for public office. All of these things sound like the scary sort of thought police you would expect in a totalitarian country. Stephen Miller, the former director of the IRS, testified on Capitol Hill earlier this month that the abuses were not intended to silence anyone or quash political causes. But many political observers don't buy it. Skepticism runs deep that the IRS's true intention was indeed to weed out groups that didn't qualify for a tax exemption. Well, it looks like a fishing expedition of sorts to link uh, a category of, of organizations to something bigger <clears throat> that doesn't have any real bearing on the underlying point of the tax code. I'm Christine Frizzell, Fox 45 News.